Hello friends, I am Mukesh Singh. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Storage Account. Azure Storage Account uh, is a storage service provided by Azure. And in this video, we are going to create an Azure Storage Account using Azure Portal. And after that, we'll upload a file to Azure Storage uh, conta Blob Container from a React application which uses ASP.NET Core API. So what is Azure Blob Storage? So Azure Blob Storage is Microsoft Ob uh, Object Storage solution for our cloud. Uh, Blob Storage is optimized for storing massive amount of unstructured data. Unstructured data is data that doesn't adhere to a particular data model or definition such as text or binary data. So here we can uh, I use for many purposes like serving image or document directly to a browser, storing files for distributed access, streaming videos, logs, and so on. So let's jump into Azure portal for creating a, a one of the storage account for us. So we are at uh, Azure portal. So let's search for Azure storage account. So here we have storage accounts and uh, create a storage account. Already subscription is selected. So uh, I'll create a new resource group. So tech word dash RG. Okay. And uh, storage account name, so I'm just uh, tech word and uh, some numbers. So it, it should be a globally unique uh, uh, name. So I hope it will be. And here uh, it is just for demo purpose. So I'm just taking locally uh, redundant storage. And uh, that's it. I'll maybe a uh, few more things. Uh, here we have uh, uh, the security so most of the things i'll leave as is uh, i'll enable this uh, enable uh, hierarchical namespace uh, actually with this what happens is uh, uh, it will be hierarchy like uh, uh, there will be folder and inside that uh, the files are there it will be a, a better uh, structured way so those things will be there. Networking, I'll uh, allow public access for all networks, from all networks. Uh, data protection, uh, I'm just don't need this uh, for demo enable soft delete blob. So I'm just disabling all of them. And uh, encryption, I'm just uh, keeping it uh, as is. Uh, tag as well, I'm not giving, but you can uh, give this name and value tags which can be useful for uh, like monitoring and searching purposes. So let's review and create. So it reviewed and uh, I'll hit create to create it. It will take a while uh, to get uh, uh, it created. So I'll be back once it's uh, created. So as you can see, it is uh, deployed. So uh, go to resource. So here, as you can see, it is uh, uh, completely uh, deployed and everything is uh, running. So two things uh, we need to do here. Uh, first is uh, create a container. And after that, we need to get a connection string from here so that we can uh, use it in our uh, web api for uploading the file so let's go to containers and uh, here we'll name it as tech word so the container is created and inside this container uh, right now there is no files so that's perfect so if we Again, uh, go to this resource. So for connection string, we have this uh, uh, access keys. And here we have this uh, uh, key one and key two. So 
any uh, of the keys we can uh, use uh, actually both uh, two keys are created for uh, uh, if we want to rotate the keys so we can uh, uh, switch to another key and then rotate uh, in that way or uh, wherever we are using always there will be a uh, one key uh, which is working and uh, with that it will be so that's the purpose so here we have this connection string so uh, show uh, I'll just uh, I'll copy it to clipboard and uh, let's move to uh, Visual Studio for uh, looking at the API so, yeah. now we are at uh, Visual Studio so already I had uh, created one uh, uh, .NET Core API project and uh, in this uh, we have this uh, endpoint uh, where uh, import file and it is taking this uh, i form file uh, parameter a file and uh, here uh, the file name and that uh, get uh, uh, extension and uh, then it's a, a memory stream and I'm co copying this uh, uh, file uh, to memory string and then I'm passing this memory string to save a data lake uh, uh, function and uh, if we uh, go into this function uh, then what we do is uh, we create a data lake file client and for creating file client we need this storage account connection string uh, which we had uh, copied it from uh, uh, the portal and uh, then we need uh, this container name so as you can see here we have this connection string and contain uh, container name so uh, that thing and after that uh, we'll have the uh, resource directory and uh, like directory can be anything so uh, here i just uh, named it my file so it will create a directory with name my file and the file name and after that once uh, it is here uh, it will set this file stream position to zero uh, when we are uploading uh, it should be the initial position so uh, uh, to uh, mitigate that issue uh, I'm just explicitly setting it and then uh, we'll upload the, this file stream so uh, to look at the settings uh, here uh, we need to uh, replace it with uh, the connection string which we uh, copied so i hope still it's in uh, yeah this and container name if you remember uh, we had uh, named it uh, tech word so it is there so let's uh, jump into visual studio code for our react project so here we are uh, at the Visual Studio Code. So already I had created this uh, uh, React application. It's a uh, very uh, default uh, uh, like uh, application. Uh, uh, I just use uh, this uh, npx create React app and uh, just all the default values and that's it. And only change is made uh, of this. Uh, I added this uh, component. So it is for uh, uploading the file and it is uh, also very simple so if you have idea about the react uh, so in this I have this uh, two input controls one is for taking uh, input as file and second one is uh, button where uh, uh, this one is for uh, selecting the file and uh, once it the file is selected we'll just hit on click and it will uh, call this uh, import file and in this uh, I had given uh, uh, the endpoint URL and in this the form data so form data is uh, uh, coming from uh, uh, this file selected so that's it so let's uh, uh, run and uh, this is uh, here added uh, file upload and even I haven't uh, removed any of this uh, uh, default content so it is the very default uh, uh, project of react so that's it in it so I just uh, run it and open it in process so npm start so as you can uh, uh, see it here uh, 
uh, we have this file and here is the uh, that component so let's choose a file so I'll select this okay and uh, then hit upload okay breakpoint is as well there so yeah and uh, let's go to a uh, browser and uh, see if the file is uploaded so as you can see uh, I had given this uh, folder my uh, my file name and inside uh, my uh, file we have this file uploaded so that's it in this video uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel it will uh, really uh, motivate me to create uh, more such content so thank you